And welcome everyone to an NCAA.com March Madness post-game Skype session of Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Yoli Childs at the Marriott Center, 28 and 10 in a 91-78 victory over Gonzaga, snapping their 40-game win streak overall in the WCC, 39 in a row on the road. Yoli, how did the Cougs get it done? I mean, we just fought. Uh, first off, I want to say Gonzaga is a great team and. Uh, they fought hard tonight like they do every night, and uh, we really respect them and uh, what they've been able to accomplish uh, nationally and in our conference. Um, but we were able to just fight tonight. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, playing five-on-one instead of one-on-one, and I think that's what we did tonight. We fought for each other. We made plays, trusting that the person behind us would have our back, and all night we did it together. All right, so you had 28-10. and 10. Uh, There was many times where they were making runs, and whether it was you, whether it was T.J. Haas, whether it was Toulson, there was always someone there to answer. What was being discussed during timeouts with Coach Pope and the staff about how to answer? I've, I've never seen a team encourage each other so much. Um, every, every single time a guy misses a shot, it's you got the next one, you got the next one. Um, there was a play where Alex missed the three that I kicked out to him, Barcelo, and uh, he came up and he's like, I'm not missing the next one. I just looked at him like, I know. And we started laughing because that's just the mindset we have is, is trust in each other. Uh, we understand that you can miss five shots in a row, bang the next one. Who cares? Um, and I think that mindset really helps us out in, in taking and making tough shots and, and shots needed to, to get an advantage. Yoli, you came back, I would think, probably for this reason. You had to sit out nine games. You had, uh, I'm trying to remember, was it I or Fink? Um, you had, multiple games that you had to sit out finger there you go finger injury um so it's been a bit of a, a roller coaster this season how much does tonight make it all worth it uh, i think tonight makes it worth it but the journey's made it worth it um the growth that i've had as a player and as a person has made it worth it uh these these ups and downs this season and uh the way we fought through it as a team and uh the way it's tested my faith and and helped me grow stronger in that area uh, has been worth it. You know, uh, Kobe Bryant used to always talk about falling in love with the journey. And I think that's that's what I've done and what this team's done. So uh, tonight's a great night. Uh, we hope it's not our best night all year. And uh, we're falling in love with the journey. Listen, I've been in that building years ago. It is, I think, one of the best kept secrets in college basketball. And it's packed like that. Marriott Center is tremendous. Senior night, Zags, all the records. What was it like to play in that environment tonight? Oh, it was surreal. Just, just trying to soak everything in, knowing it's your last one. Um, it was emotional in a lot of ways, a lot of joy, a lot of sadness. Um, but the overall feeling was just fight, just being able to fight for, for my teammates. And uh, every single guy felt that way. And uh, we had students camping out for days, you know. And when they camp out like that, they deserve to see a win. Uh, we had a, a packed arena, sold out. And, uh, when you just have all that magic going in there and so many people that are believing in you and rooting for you, you know you can't let it down. Hey, one last thing, Yoli. I know we still got another week. You got the WCC tournament. I'll see you in Vegas for that. Uh, NCAA tournament. I know we're a ways away, but it's clear. When this team is clicking, offensively especially, and defensively obviously you guys are much better, what's the ceiling with this group next month? Uh, I think uh, I think we can play with anyone or we can beat anyone. And uh, it's just going to come down to us continuing to achieve the goals that we've had every day and us to get better every day. Um, we, we have a short memory, whether it's, it's good or bad. And we're going to come in on Monday and work as hard as we can in practice to prepare for Pepperdine. And we're just going to take it one day at a time. And uh, I think as we continue to do that, our ceiling will be really high. Congrats on a tremendous night. Uh, I still know there's uh, more to achieve. We'll see you soon. I'll see you in Las Vegas. Appreciate you. Thank you for your time.